Okay, so I'm gonna go over how Mag Tools works and how you can auto loot or auto sort your um, your backpack on your characters. Um, you have to have Mag Tools. Um, of course, this would be this is what Mag Tools is right here. Um, has a lot of helpful things, but one of them is actually um, sorting, and what, they actually have a, a command. It's called MT, which is Mag Tools Auto Pack. And what it'll do is it'll pack things into certain backpack or into certain pack bags that you want it to be. So, how does this work? Let's. Um, so I'll just kind of do a thing in the very beginning. What is, what I have right now is all weapons imbued or not imbued will go into the second pack. And if I click uh, or if I at the very bottom, if you look down here, you'll see MT Auto Pack. I'll press that, and you can see all the weapons. Um, don't know why those ones didn't go in there were um, put into the secondary backpack. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get the mana stones, all my mana stones, and we'll just kind of lay them out through this this guy right here. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of mana stones that are just uh, uh, cluttered. So, what we need to do is, here's my, char my character's Vermino, so if you actually, how Mag Tools works, is it goes through uh, this PC, documents, uh, decal plugins and then mag tools and then typically you'll have a um, um, a, U, a, UT, a UTL utility file for your character if you don't you just kind of create um, you just create one but you'll have to get mag tools and then you want to get Ver, uh, Verendi tank loot editor so here is my uh, auto pack and so if, if I opened it up which you can see right here in the in the Verendi tank loot editor you can see that this is the same path as as this is um, and this is kind of my packs um, remember that if we look at this let me move this over to the side it um, the main pack the the main backpack is actually pack zero so how this works is um, and this is gonna get a little in-depth and I'm not trying to go too in-depth with this but um, how I have this set up and this is just for looking good the pack one pack two and three um, how this works is you use keep number and then one so what that means is that will be put into place into sack one um, it's, uh, how to to do multiple like pack two and three you do two and then three because you can have all the way up to what is it two four six seven seven packs so if I wanted to do two three and seven it would actually be it would be um, it would be two or sorry it'd be two three and then uh, well that'd be six actually sorry it would be six um, on that one so let me go back to my loot editor there we go so that would actually do it of course I don't have enough backpacks to do this but what we're going to do is create a new a new rule and we're gonna call it uh, one one mana stone and then we're gonna keep it in one because we want to put it in that sack right there and then we're gonna create a new rule so this is the rules tabs and you have all these different rules um, not gonna get it all into this but um, but the biggest the biggest one if you're trying to move items and stuff is object class and so you can have a whole bunch of this this is your first you know your first variable or your first filter through it so I want to find and this is gonna be simple so it's just gonna be mana stone um, I could also you know do mana stone and then actually do um, you know how much how much mana is in there um, or how much how much mana is contained in it if, it, if it's if it's charged or not um, don't want to get into that but so so this is just what we're starting with right now so I, what I'm trying to do is find anything that's in here or any of the packs and sort them into pack one, which is this guy right here. So let's, um, just for the sake of making things look good, we're gonna move this all the way up to the top. This doesn't do anything, this is just for organization. So um, we're gonna save this, and then we're gonna pull that over to the side, and then we're back into the game. Of course, remember there's two, four, five, five, uh, yeah, five different uh, mana stones. We'll click on this, and you can see it just took the five mana stones and put it into the pack. So that's it. That's all. That's all this does. So you can go into here. You can go in here, and you know, 
um, filter it even down more if you wanted to just get the the mana st uh, the, the stored mana of how much it is maybe the value of it you can do, you can do all that you can also do burden I've done you know with with this I've done salvage bags putting full bags into pack two and three I've had trade notes this is from an old character back in the day um, trade notes in pack four you know spell comps mana stones all that stuff um, and then you know you can have all your your junk your junk that makes tons of money that's less than 350 burden um, the value is over 40,000 and it's a melee weapon put that all into uh, pack six and seven because I'm just going to go to a trade you know to a, a vendor and sell it so you know this is a good um, this is a good kind of way to just quickly organize things once you're done hunting you can just kind of you know press auto pack and it'll just send all that stuff um, um, into the into the appropriate packs that you want to for selling for you know transferring over to mule or whatever you need to do so hopefully that helps